Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight's video is going to be about this beast. Uh, this was a 35 horsepower Evinrude that I converted full electric. Um, it's actually one of my biggest motors I've made. Um, start off right here with the heat sinks. Uh, this was air cooled as a first prototype, um, basically just for some lakes and stuff to test out the motor. Uh, as you can see right here, there's two huge magnets north and south. Uh, we have three coils, one, two, three. Uh, timing and brains is up here. Uh, I have all these amp meters set up to where you guys could actually see what's going on. So we'll start back here. Um, here's the capacitors that build up the charge and it actually cycles all the way back up into the front. But for now we're going to take the output and go through an amp meter so that you could see how much output's coming back and then it combines to the the main positive and then you'll be able to see how much power is actually the motor is using total with the input and output. Um, I have our battery bank down here 48 volt. Um, these are all 50 amp hour meters and then that little lithium battery back there that's what's going to be running this thing. Um, I have my basic speed control. Um, I've used this with it so far. It's just a electric dirt bike throttle 5K. Um, this little item right here is actually the amplifiers that I made. There's three of them, one, two, three. Uh, each one of these is actually good for five horsepower, so um, up to 250 volts. Uh, I don't use that high voltage, but that's what the MOSFETs rating are. There's actually two MOSFETs in here. You have the the trigger and then the ground and then the other lead right there. So this is going to be the battery voltage. Give you guys kind of an overview here. Uh, right now the gear is not engaged so we don't get in the prop. but. Anyway, let's fire this thing up. So, what we have to do is turn on the power right here. You can see the fans start going. So, right now the capacitor bank is at 5.3 volts. Um, our main battery, 50.18. And then we're just going to bring this up to uh, probably right around 5 amps to start with uh, from the battery that is. So let's turn this up till we get to about 5 amps. So 5 amps right there. So here's the voltage on the capacitor now. There's the battery voltage. So the output actually comes from the capacitors and goes back into the front. So if you look at the amp meters, uh, right now the output's right around 4 amps. Um, the total battery usage is right around 8 and our main battery is sitting at 5 so you can see the output right there and as I turn it up you can see what it's using so right now we're at 10 amps output about 4 battery It's about seven right there. So you could just bring this thing up to speed. So right now we're at 30 amps. I'll put at 10 amps. Check the speed. 500 right now. This baby goes pretty good.
All right. So the RPM of the motor is actually right around 4,000. My tachometer doesn't seem to be working right. But yeah, it's quite smooth. Uh, we can put this thing into gear. Put the gear over it. And then we could spin this prop. So yeah, the motor runs real smooth, pretty quiet, um, not too much vibration. The motor does right around 30% uh, return most of the time. Um, if you're going like around harbor speed and stuff like that, it's about almost 50%. Pretty neat little thing here. Uh, the output is usually right around 600 volts. Um, input only 48 so the capacitors do a good job at converting that energy back to a lower voltage and into amperage so hope you liked the video have a good night